Hello Earthlings, this is Carla. I am here again in my kitchen for another episode of Where Cooking Begins. Now you've all heard of a BLT, American classic. Well, today I've got a twist on that. Not only is it made for a party, but it's got a little extra ingredient that turns it into a B-E-L-T, which spells belt. We're not gonna need any belts where we're going. Have you ever tried making bacon for like a ton of people and it fills up your whole skillet and there's bacon fat all over the place and it gets really fatty and it gets really delicious smelling but it's kind of a mess? That's not what we're doing today. I'm gonna show you how to make party bacon. That's right, it's already time for a key moment. So what makes this key is two things. It's both about the equipment and the technique. First off, I really recommend having one of these cooling racks. They're awesome for baked goods, but they're also amazing for cooking bacon in this method because they allow for airflow, so heat can get on both sides of the slices and the fat is gonna drip down. They're an incredible tool. So that's your equipment lined with foil so that the cleanup's gonna be easy. And then you can make as much bacon as you want. And if you have a lot of bacon and the slices overlap, that is totally cool. You can use any kind of bacon that you feel attached to, whether it's turkey or fofurkey or whatever. You do you. So you're about to get wind that this is not your standard or traditional BLT. We've got the B in the oven and the T is right over here. Let's talk about my choice in L. The L is very important in the BLT. It has to be crunchy and it has to be cold. I do like iceberg. Today I've got little gems. Romaine hearts are acceptable to me. I love Shreddy Letty, AKA Shreddus, AKA Shredded Lettuce, but I don't condone it in a BLT. It is too PC and in a warm sandwich where any component of the sandwich is warm, the Shreddy Letty turns into wet hair and I don't want wet hair in my sandwich ever under any circumstances. So you gotta go with something with a little backbone. You know what I mean? I need crunchy, I need a core, I need fresh, lovely, fabulous. This is a BLT party. This is like a BLT moment. And when you're hosting, your job is to like welcome people onto their personal journey to enjoy themselves. This is not like a seven course prefix menu. We have choices and the sandwich is filled with personal choices. I am not going to taste your sandwich and you're not going to taste mine. So there's no place here for judgment. I love kimchi on my BLT. It's delicious. It's pickly. It's spicy. It's crunchy. It's funky. It's amazing with bacon. I also love the freshness of some basil. What is basil great with? Tomatoes, mayonnaise, toast. So I will be putting basil on my BLT KB. <laughs> so there's mayo, you can just have some mayo, or you can like sass it up and mix mayo and hot sauce. Now let's talk about the bread. The bread is an integral ingredient in this sandwich, even though it doesn't have a letter, it should. There's BLTs and there's BBLs and there should be BBLTs because you have to be thinking about the bread. I like a Pullman. The reason I like a Pullman is one, it's got the like classic sandwich shape. So it's very pleasing to me in that way. It is also has a tight crumb. So all the juices and stuff are not gonna like fall through like on a sourdough or a miche, big holy thing. That's not gonna work here. Other things that are not gonna work here, squishy bread, don't care for it. So don't give me a squishy white bread. I don't wanna see a Martin's roll, even though I love a potato roll. For burgers, it's not my choice on a BLT because it gets all gummy, because it's so juicy in there, and then it sticks to the back of your tooth. I don't like that at all. I don't want a Kaiser roll, that's insane. Other things I would like to see would be a really good hoagie roll that has that nice crackly kind of outer crust and the nice floofy inside, a good sesame seed roll, but not a potato roll, a sesame seed hard roll. 
but that's also soft. That I'm into. What another thing I'm not into is a BLT on a flagel or a bagel. Don't come with me with your flagels and don't come with me with your wraps or your tortillas. You people are d deranged and I won't accept it. Um, I do accept stepping out of the boundaries flavor wise, but we're, when you're talking about the bread, you're talking about the architecture and you cannot play around. Time for the tea. Omeda. Very important. Do not make a BLT without a good tomato. It's not worth it. You wanna have delicious tomatoes. They don't have to be heirloom tomatoes. I personally love a great Jersey beefsteak, one of the great sandwich tomatoes, but they do have to be ripe. So how do you know if a tomato is ripe? You're probably buying them in the season that they're grown. That's a super great key. They should have nice green, stem still kind of visible. So if this is sort of brown and scraggly and like a dead fallen fall leaf, that means it was picked a long time ago and it's not gonna be as good. And then you should just be able to pick it up and smell it. And it smells like delicious summer tomato. That's how you know when a tomato is ripe. If it's pale pink and rock hard, it is not ripe. Whoa. Just gave you all of the tea on the tea. So we have a BB, B L K T. Oh, there's another secret ingredient. It starts with E. Can't tell you yet. So before I get around to revealing my big secret that starts with E, it is time for another key moment. So what I love about this bread is the delicious crumb. And what I love about the tray is it is a great way to make a lot of toast for my sandwiches all at once for my party. But the real money move is to only toast one side. This looks perfect. So I have beautiful golden brown, even Steven, on this side, this is going to be the inside of the sandwich. So this toasty side of the bread is gonna be next to the business. The mayo, the juicy tomato, the kimchi that I am choosing to put on mine. And because this is dried out, it's a little bit of a waterproof layer, it's not gonna sog out. On the other side, we have soft, and steamy, but delicious and warm. And that's the side that your teeth are gonna crunch through. So you're not gonna get the scraping sensation, but you're still gonna get the delicious crunch and you won't get the sog. You didn't even have to turn them over while they were in the oven. Now it's time to fry the E. Baking came out amazing. It's everything that I wanted it to be. So the best way to drain bacon after you've cooked it is on a paper towel lined plate or if you've got one of those cooling racks, that's nice too, just so everything um, gets air and doesn't get steamy underneath. Looks totally gorgeous and the perfect combo of chewy and crispy, which is how I like it. I am actually going to save the bacon fat that collect it in the bottom of the tray and just keep it in a little jar. I need a couple of tablespoons of the bacon fat right now. And I'm gonna get this pan over medium, medium high heat. It is finally time for me to reveal the secret E. And what do you know, it is time for another key moment. Hot pan, you can use a nonstick and plenty of oil. Drop the egg right in. All of that bubbling and spattering is good. This style egg is like a oil fried egg. Some people call it a Spanish style fried egg, but it's gonna give crispy edges and a set weight and a runny yolk. And then one of the most annoying things about frying an egg is that the edge is gonna set but the inner white is still gonna be runny, and then you risk overcooking your yolk. So the workaround for that 
And this is why there's extra oil in the pan. So you can actually spoon some of the hot oil right over the yolk. Always season your eggs. Everything I wanted from the E and then some. It's crispy on the edges. The white is totally set. The yolk, you know it's runny. It looks excellent. Can't wait to have that B E L T. <laughs> B L T party of one, and that's me. I <laughs> get to make and eat a sandwich right now. Yay for me! And we're back. <laughs> I'm gonna make my BLT, my personal BLT. So remember, toasted side is the business side. So I'm gonna build into there. I know exactly what I want. It's no mystery here. Hellman's are best foods. That's, that's where it is for me. I know about the Duke's Mayo people. I hear you, I love you. Maybe, maybe at your party there will be multiple mayos. Okay, this is what I call wall to wall. If you ever see this in any of my recipes when I say to spread it, wall to wall. A little hot sauce, a little hotsy totsy. I'm putting my tomato on the bottom. You do whatever you want. Mmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I forgot to salt my tomato. Gotta salt the maters. Now, breaking the spine a little bit on my lettuce. Kimchi is going into the cradle of the lettuce. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We gotta get the bee involved. Bacon is gonna be next to basil and some basil flowers, because why not? What did I forget? Anything, anything, anything? Oh, the E! A sauce bread party. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I did it anyway. Just because I believe every sandwich should be cut in half, diagonally, that's what's happening. Lord, lordy, lordy, lord. That, my friends, is a belt, or in this case, a B, B, E, L, K, <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm, mm-mm. I can't wait to try it. Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. The fact that you can get into it in such a welcoming, pillowy invitation of the outer soft bread, and then what awaits you is like a smack in the face. It's like, Oh, come right in, and then it's like, chop, chop, yeah! <laughs> Somebody just grabs you and grabs you by the shoulder and wake up! Can't you see? Can't you see this is the greatest day of your life? Stop messing around! And you're like, whoa, thank you! And they're like, smack, smack, smack! And you're like, huh! You're right. How did I ever doubt anything? It's a life affirming sandwich, an LAS. I know, if there's something that the last couple of years have taught us, it's that um, we don't need belts but <clears throat> we do need this sandwich. Do you ever get tired when you're throwing a party? Do you ever get tired when you're talking about BLTs? Do you ever get tired talking on the phone for a long time with your mom when she called when you were setting up for your BLT party? May I introduce you to the Pullman Ottoman. It's the Pull Ottoman. And it's a great place to just rest, take a load off, put your hand somewhere, and relax, because we all just need to take a moan. Pull Ottoman, $6.99, daddypasta.com. <laughs>